to start the evening, we'd like to do a land acknowledgement. To do that, Katie Matos from Four Corners Water Center is going to do that. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it's so great to have everybody here this evening. I'm Katie Mattis. I'm an assistant professor at Fort Lewis um, and a faculty affiliate with the Four Corners Water Center. So I'm very happy to welcome you all to Fort Lewis College today and grateful to all of our co-sponsors. Um, so at Fort Lewis, we begin every event with a land acknowledgement to honor and respect the land that we're gathering on today. We acknowledge that the land that Fort Lewis College is situated upon is the ancestral land and territory of the Nuchu Ute people who were forcibly removed by the United States government. We also acknowledge that this land is connected to the communal and ceremonial spaces of the Hickory Apache, Pueblos of New Mexico, Hopi Sanam, and Diné nations. It's important to acknowledge this setting because the narratives of the lands in this region have long been told from dominant perspectives without full recognition of the original land stewards who continue to inhabit and connect with this land. Thank you for your respect in acknowledging this important legacy. And at the Four Corners Water Center, we also like to expand this acknowledgement to include water. As these lands are part of a watershed and the water that flows through our watershed connects to others downstream. So we are in the Animus River watershed, which is a tributary to the San Juan River, which is a tributary to the Colorado River. And we believe it's important to acknowledge that all of us are two-thirds water and that water connects us all. As expressed by many indigenous cultures around the world, water is life. Thank you again for your respect in this acknowledgement. Thanks, Katie. And she'll be back up in a little bit while to talk more about Fort Lewis. But first, uh, my name is Steve Wolf. I'm general manager for Southwestern Water Conservation District. Thank you all for coming out tonight and attending this event. Um, for those of you who don't know much about Southwest, we were formed about 80 years ago to conserve, preserve, and develop the water resources of the San Juan and Dolores River basins here in Colorado. Um, I really want to give a special thanks to Laura Spann, our program's coordinator. Laura, stand up for a minute. Who, who from Southwest perspective, is the one who's really put this whole thing together. Could never happen without her, so thanks, Laura. I'd also like to thank our other sponsors. First, SGM, where's Jordan? And, and Jen, back there with SGM, helped sponsor this event. SGM's a water resource engineering firm based in Glenwood, but they have a Durango office. I think Jen came from Glenwood to come to participate. And also for Fort Lewis College and the Four Corners Water Center is helping sponsor this. And obviously we're, we're here on the premises of Fort Lewis College. And Katie, you wanna come up back up and talk a little bit more? Again, thank you all so much for being here today. And thank you to our hosts and everybody who put together this incredible event. Um, so the Four Corners Water Center was established in 2019 and it's an interdisciplinary center within Fort Lewis College focused on developing programs and curriculum to support our students in becoming the next generation of water leaders. So we have a, quite a few students um, in the audience today and I'm gonna put you all on the spot and ask all my Fort Lewis students to stand really quickly. And if everybody can look around, um, I know, I know the students in my classes, I've, I've asked you all to come and have some conversations with some of the other folks. Y'all can sit now, thanks. <laughs> um, so I'd just like to encourage all of our students to approach the incredible resources that are in this room, have a conversation with at least one new person, and to the rest of the audience too, we would love to have you all approach some of our students now that you know who they are. Um, these are all people who are interested in water in one way or another, and are, again, are our future leaders. Um, the Four Corners Water Center is in a little bit of a transition right now. So many of you know our former director, Gigi Richard, um, and we are in the process trying to figure out what shape that water center will take in the future. So please stay tuned. The website's fourcornerswater.org, and we look forward to connecting with all of you um, in whatever shape that happens in the future. Thanks. Thanks, Katie. And I would like to recognize Dr. Richard. Um, she did a great service here at Four Corners. Um, we're going to miss her a lot, but I'm sure Katie and others will fill in. So, And no, now for the real reason that we're here, and, and it's to watch a film 
by Christy Bodhi Sky. Um, Christy is a filmmaker, a photographer, and owner of Moxicran Media. Got that right? <laughs> Christy has worked extensively throughout Colorado's river basins over the past 10 years. Her company, Moxicran, specializes in natural resource education and storytelling throughout the West. As you all see in tonight's film, she works with a diverse array of water stakeholders. Christy is, as of this year, a Pagosa resident, but originally came from San Luis prior to that. Is that correct? So, um, <laughs> so um, her film, Farm to Faucet, I'm going to ask Christy to come up and give a little introduction, and then we'll watch the film. Afterward, we'll have a panel of folks sort of representing water, um, various water holders, stakeholders, um, response, and then hopefully we'll have a good audience discussion and question and answer period. So, Christy, thank you. Well, this is a great turnout, and I want to thank you all for your interest. Um, I think when I first set out to make this film, I really wanted to create a conversation and a dialogue and not speak into a vessel. Um, so if you're wondering what I was doing during the pandemic, it was making a film about buy and dry and how we all value water. You know, super easy things to think about um, in the middle of, uh, you know, a lot of societal issues coming up in the forefront. So I think when I think about the value of water and you ask 20 million people that question, you're going to get 20 million answers. And so going into this film, I think I had to radically accept I'm not going to have any answers for anybody. I think I want you all to ask more questions and maybe kind of think about what some of your constructs are or maybe imagine yourself a day in the life of someone else's shoes. So whether that's water for agriculture, water for homes and development, water for the environment, um, it takes so many different shapes and forms. And that value of water, whether you want to put a dollar sign to it or some intrinsic value to it, I think as we find the quantity continue to decrease and the demand for it go higher, I think these are some really big societal questions that we need to take a look at. So in creating this film, and being a huge consumer of media myself and following a lot of other water journalists out there, out there and kind of seeing the way that these stories take shape, I also didn't want to contribute to the us versus them narrative that is really is put out there again and again and again. So I wanted to approach this from a nuanced way as much as I could in 30 minutes that I was allocated. Um, but really would love to hear your thoughts. I'm available for questions afterwards and kind of what this brings up for you. Um, there's really no right or wrong answer. So thank you all for being here. And um, kill the lights. 